Oh, hi there, I didn't see you. Um, as you can see, I'm just painting right now one of my favourite pieces. But never mind about my <laughs> painting, I've come here to tell you why I, Hurry Palmer, from Little Old Leicester, should be hired to be your camp counsellor through America. Hi there, so sorry about that intro, I mean, you usually won't be seeing me like that, but hopefully you don't, but you might be. <laughs> Just to repeat back of what I said before, so my name is Hari Palmer and I'm from a little town in the UK called Leicester, and uh, here are kind of the reasons why I want to be uh, a camp counsellor through AmeriCamp uh, for this summer, 2020. There's three words I would definitely uh, describe myself with. First of all, being creative, as you've seen before. Second, definitely expressive. But third, and definitely the most important, I'm loud. <laughs> That's me. But with those qualities in mind, I definitely have a lot to offer in a sense. Um, I've always wanted to help people. It's just in my nature. And it's just something that I kind of want to bring back into, uh, into society and everything like that. I just want uh, the kids and everyone at the camp just to have the best possible time that they, have, they can have and I just want them to have a great summer and I just wanted to, you know, just let it roll. <laughs> Firstly I'm going to be talking about the skills that I bring to this and that I would want to bring forward uh, to the actual camp. So as you've seen before from the photos that I've placed, um, well that my friend has actually placed, uh, is art. Art has definitely been one of the most biggest skills and my biggest passion actually uh, in my life. It's been something I've been doing from a really early age um, and I'm now actually currently doing it within my A-levels and actually, yes, thinking about it, I'm actually bringing it forward. Uh, within my degree that I'm going to be doing this year in architecture. I find that art has so many different formats and ways of actually expressing it. You can go something as detailed or something quite abstract. There's just a multitude of ways of actually expressing art. But not only just by the different formats of art, it's the meanings that come behind it which I find the most important aspect really. Um, especially with me putting meaning in everything in art. So I just feel like art will be one of the most um, biggest skills for me to contribute, um, not only to kind of let them have fun and everything, but to also think about it in a way that they can ma make it meaningful towards them. So that's just one of the skills that I think I would bring forward. And the next skill. So, as you've seen from the tragic photos of me, gosh, I'm actually so tragic, <laughs> is um, canoeing. Uh, canoeing is actually quite a recent skill, I would say. The next, canoeing and actually the next skill is quite recent to me, but they're one of the most enjoyable skills that I have in mind. I just recently, well, I say recently, but it's been about like two years almost now, uh, I participated in the NCS program and I started to do canoeing there. and. For some reason, I just I went into it so quickly, and it was it was like wow, <laughs> have I been doing this for years? <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just such a fun activity, and I just feel like um, a sport based a water sport. It gives different attributes. I see, like so, one can be of course uh, team building. Uh, it's a way of persevering through things, and so a lot of eye hand coordination can come from it. So I just feel like there's a lot of different bits to it, but. Um, from NCS actually, I found that there was a lot of memories uh, that I attached to it and I feel like with uh, the kids at the camp, I feel like there'll be a lot of different memories that can come from that. Um, you know, one of them actually I found, although it may not seem that funny, but someone fell in the water. Bear in mind it wasn't actually that deep, so it's fine, like the water wasn't that deep, so they were, they were all safe. Um, but um, yeah, it's just like little moments like that, like splashing your friends or everything like that. It was just. It was just something like to have a laugh about and I just feel like bringing that forward would be really good with me in terms of just letting them have a laugh and 
you know, building upon something that they could possibly use later on in a sense. But yeah, that's um, why I find canoeing to be one of my skills. I think she's a dog. Right? Yeah. She's got like. Yeah. Yeah. Now she like just has it down. So as you've seen before, um, I was actually rock climbing um, a cliff face. This was when I was doing the NCS program. Uh, a little bit before this, I actually was introduced to rock climbing, and it was actually really fun. Like, I was like, "Wow, where did this come from?" Like, come on. So I just find that rock climbing, from my previous experiences, even though there wasn't as many as I would want there to be, possibly in the future or when I get to the camp might happen. I just find that it was a really fun skill to have and something to, well, a fun activity to participate in because it's a lot of concentration and a lot of focus. Uh, but as well as that, it's that kind of, that determination you want to get to the end goal and everything like that, which is another thing which I personally feel like all my skills have that, um, that attribute to it. It's just kind of getting to the end goal and just being like, yes, I have that in mind. Like. I have, I've achieved that. And that's just something I kind of found from rock climbing. It was just something that I was able to express quite, um, quite frivolously. <laughs> but <laughs> I just really found that it was such an important skill to have, just to be able to focus and make sure you're able to guide yourself through this kind of obstacle in a way, which is just, I think is quite important. So yeah, I just really enjoyed this skill personally for uh, that, determination factor into it and just you know being able to guide yourself through that obstacle which I think is quite an important skill to have in life um, through that activity as well but yeah I just find that to be uh, an important skill of mine that I'd be able to contribute. So to conclude from this little short video of why I should be hired at your camp I believe just with a few short words I believe regardless of what camp I get hired to I know that I would want to bring as much joy, as much um, meaning, as much of a great time as possible towards your camp. And I know that I would, from the bottom of my heart, Aww. from everything that I do, I would want everyone to have the best time possible. So to conclude again, <laughs> uh, I hope you hire me to be your camp counsellor for your camp and I hope you've enjoyed my little get together kind of moment that I put all together with the help of my friend behind the camera uh, and I hope you hire me for your camp so thank you very much <laughs>